Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for uh, supporting me uh, as I studied for this uh, in radio exam. And uh, I'm just going to um, kind of show you guys how I prepared myself and how I uh, studied for this exam. Uh, I have no uh, great physics or electronics background, so uh, a lot of the questions were kind of hard for me when it came to that kind of uh, technical stuff. Uh, so I kind of studied by, by using a word association and uh, uh, matching stuff in my head. And I'm just going to give you a little example of, of how I did that in, uh, in this video. And, uh, um, you know, you could do this yourself and, and uh, it might not work for you, uh, but it worked for me. So here are some of the questions that I, I uh, did. Okay, so this question is, which of the following would reduce ignition interference to a receiver? And the correct answer to that would be turn on the noise blanker. Now, I don't know what any of that means, but um, I thought of ignition, igniting fireworks, and fireworks make a lot of noise, right? So I thought of ignition, igniting fireworks, make a lot of noise. So that's how I... Uh, associated this question. All right, this question is, what is the advantage of having multiple multiple receive bandwidth choices on a multi-mode transceiver? And the correct answer is, permits noise or interference reduction by selecting a bandwidth matching the mode. Now, out of the possible answers, um, this is the only choice that actually has bandwidth in it. So, uh, as you can see, the question has bandwidth and the answer has bandwidth in it and both of them also have uh, mode in it so multi-mode and matching the mode so I think bandwidth and mode all right this question is which of the following is a good electrical conductor uh, and the answer is copper and uh, out of all the possible answers copper is the only one that starts with C and um, Conductor uh, starts with letter C as well. So just remember to C, uh, and uh, I think that will uh, work for you. All right, uh, this question is, which of the following is a good electrical insulator? Now, I thought of insulator, and I thought of insulin. And uh, insulin, uh, you, you know, insulator, insulin, what does insulin come in? It comes usually in a glass bottle. So uh, insulator, insulin, glass bottle. That's how I associated this question. All right, this question was, what is the basic unit of capacitance? Now, I thought of capacitance, and then I thought, um, well, the, cor the correct answer is Farad. And Farad, I don't know, it just sounds like an Arab guy's name to me. So I thought of Farhad um, wears a cap because uh, of capac capacitance, capacitance, cap, Farhad, um, Farhad wears a cap. So that's how I uh, associated this one. I don't know. It's kind of silly, but, you know, it kind of makes sense, too. And this question was, what is the basic unit of inductance? And the uh, correct answer is the Henry. So I thought of you know, a guy named Henry, and uh, I thought of uh, kind of uh, induction into the army. So Henry joins the army. He gets inducted in the army. So inductance, uh, Henry joins the army. One of those silly things, but it's a word association. So, well, uh, that's how I uh, kind of studied for this exam. I just did a lot of memorization and word association and mind games. So maybe that will work for you, and maybe if you like this, I'll make some more.